So you want to use the mouse, but you don't know the code. Not a problem. Any time that you want to see what the mouse is doing, make a vector two variable. And in the update, say x equals input dot get axis mouse x and y equals input dot get axis mouse y. If you run the game now, you'll notice that every time you move the mouse left, x becomes negative. If you move the mouse right, x becomes positive. If you move it down, y becomes negative. And if you move it up, y becomes positive. So all we got to do is translate these variables into a rotation to turn our object. Now, the easiest way I know to do that is transform that local rotation equals quaternion that Euler negative turn y turn x and change these to plus equals. And all this means is that any time the mouse moves, we want to add those values to its current rotation. Now, you might have noticed that the mouse is kind of in the way. If you want to make it invisible and lock it to the middle of the screen, go into your start method and type Corsa lock state equals Corsa lock mode dot locked. And now you will see that it is no longer in the way. Something you may want to add is a variable to control the mouse sensitivity. So if you make a float called sensitivity, you can multiply it by your mouse to turn slower or faster. If you add the movement control code from our last tutorials, you'll pretty much have the foundation laid for a basic first person debug camera. Anyway, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.